this is not a new issue. The city says they've been working with the homeless community for months, trying to find alternative housing for them. But they do vow that they will close this park to the public, and they are planning to renovate and to do a lot of repairs. And they say they're going to start doing that immediately. But you can see that this is not just a park to people. For many people, this is a home. They've refused to take down their tents, and they are refusing to move out. We've seen some sanitation workers, city crews, around, but not really any signs that they're going to physically be moving anybody out. Now, early this morning, Sky 5 was overhead. We wanted to give you a better perspective of the park and also all of the tents and the hundreds of people who came to the park this morning to demonstrate and to advocate for the people who have been living in the park. According to the city, the encampment will be cleared out. The park will be fenced off so that these renovations can begin. The cost, we understand, is an estimated half a million dollars. More than 100 people have been living in the park's encampments, and according to the councilman, Mitch O'Farrell, 120 of them have been moved into transitional housing. Those who are still here, though, say forcing them out will not solve anything. One woman did speak to the crowd this morning, saying that she had a good job. She worked as an electrician. She was living a few blocks away from Echo Park uh, in an apartment. But then there was a car accident. It changed everything for her. She lost her job. She ended up homeless in the park. She says there are a lot of people in the same position who just need help. These are human beings. These were your neighbors once. These were the people you said hi to once. These are people that when you needed a cup of sugar or bread or something, you went to them. Now the circumstances changed because now they changed the, the four walls of an apartment to a tent. The way that we have treated this community is horrendous. These people deserve love and compassion. They have been kicked and beaten. They have hopes, dreams and fears. And we have the audacity to tell them to get out. Absolutely not. And then the group marched to City Councilman Mitchell Farrell's office. He is spearheading this cleanup and closure of the park. Now, although many local community groups are advocating, as we saw, for those living in the encampment at the park, there's a very vocal and strong group of residents who are not. They have gathered thousands of signatures on a petition encouraging the city to step in and do something about the trash and the crime and the drug use in the park. Coming back out here live, I can tell you that the councilman sent out a statement this morning asking for the public to cooperate with efforts to close the park and get the people here into safe housing. They say that will happen as quickly as possible, and there are plans to start posting official signs that the park is closed. That's expected to happen anytime. Reporting from Echo Park, I'm Lynette Romero. I'm gonna send it back to you guys in the studio.